Okay, hi, hello, welcome to Kit and Kajira Gaming. Welcome if you are new, you can call me KK. And in today's Week in the Valley episode, we are going to reveal my Dream Snaps mission and what I got as a reward. We're also going to look at this week's premium shop items as well as voting on some of last week's uh, Swash, Buckle, and Swagger submissions. If you guys want to see what I did to enter uh, that Dream Snaps, be sure to check out my last video and you guys will see it there. And I will reveal what I received as my reward next week. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I do post that video. All right, now let's go ahead and see what we got in the mailbox today. All right, guys, here we go. Oh my God, I did not place nearly as well as I thought I would. I received 600 moonstones with 156 pixels and the red chest. What did I get last week with my fun for fall? I got, oh my god, I ranked lower this week than I did last week and I really really liked what I did for Frightfully Festive. I know it was completely different than what most people did. That's honestly probably what did me in. I will pop a photo in. Now this was my final submission for Frightfully Festive. Um, I just, I don't know, this is just, <laughs> I am not, look, like, I don't get anything over 600, I am kind of sad. Oh, I got, like, 900 for Dapper Delights, which was really weird because, uh, I was not happy with that package either. Yeah, so my first one was Dreamy Kitchen, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I've only been playing Dreamlight Valley for for like a month, month and a half, something like that. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, now let's go ahead, let's claim our rewards and see what we got in the decor chest. Yay, go me, and please ignore the background of my not so decorated village. <laughs> All right, so I got 2K, wait, did that just say two? Oh, I got 2K Moonstone for uh, leveling up to whatever reward level I was in Pixie. So that's cool. All right, so that brings me up to 3,900 Moonstone. Let's check uh, this week's premium. And oh my god, there is the Mushroom Manor. So excited. There has been talk for like the last couple of weeks for this manor. So I'm definitely going to get this one. And I definitely want to get both of these Arendelle um, Dream Snaps. I am not a big fan of this sweater. Like... I yeah, it's cozy, but it's just, it's not my vibe. I'm not going to waste the moonstones on it. I do, however, need to uh, buy these ones later this week with my paycheck. So we'll do that next time. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to our event. Uh, and we're going to go voting. I don't want to look at the current challenge yet. Be sure to look for my next video for the this week's current challenge and how I do that one. So last week was an outfit challenge. It was swashbuckle and swagger. And now we are going to go ahead and vote for these. All right. So since it is an outfit challenge, we want to make sure that the outfit is obviously what's on display. Having a background and having things that kind of tie it in helps. Like, so like having these kind of help, you can't really see their outfit here. This looks more like a dapper challenge and they just added the bird and the pirate hat. So there we go. There it is blown up. I do like how the bird is snuggling though. Um, when I was taking my slash buckle photos, I did love when I had the bird perched on my arm that it wanted to snuggle. So that was really cute. Um, and then let's take a look at the other one. I love the lighting in this one and I love what she did with the sunbird and how she picked this sunbird's color patterns, which kind of looks like a parrot. Um, I am probably going to give it to her just because of how bright and colorful it is. Alright, so now we have these two. So let's open this one up. Sorry if you can hear my dog dreaming in the background. So she's got, I think this is Prince Eric's castle and then Ariel's castle over here. Um, she does have her pirate outfit on. What are these gloves she's wearing though? That's interesting. Again, with the little um, parrot that we got, I think it was a premium shop or two ago. 
And then this one with the black frame around it. I really don't like the frames. I, just, I think they're weird. Um, this one is really pixelated, so I don't know what happened. I wonder if they just turned their graphics down all the way. Um, but they are in front of Moana's boat. Um, her boat is clearly like leveled all the way up, and they do have that premium shop um, outfit on. So, um, hmm, I think we're going to give it to this one again just because of the lighting. Right now, here are two of them. They're both equally decorated um, and almost similar items, just different color palettes. So let's blow this one up on the left. I love this moon in the background with Skull Rock and um, the little dinghy and the boat that takes you to Ariel and the treasure that's over here. I do like what they did with um, the waterfall and this rock pool. This is really cool. Okay, this one's also really pixelated. I don't know what's going on. Some of these are super pixelated. Um, I don't I don't know what's going on here. But this one is nice composition. I do think they could have added probably something a little here to fill in more of that negative spacing. Let's take a look at this one. This is cute. They have some nice um, blurring here to indicate depth of field. I do like even back here they have the depth of field with Ariel's castle in the background and the cliffs. There's Maui's little statue and the bird. The bird is giving you the death glare. Oh, that's funny. And like her facial expression and just her pose in general is super cute. So I think we're going to vote for this one. All right. So we've got these two. Oh, we have an inside one. Let's look inside first. So she made this look like an inside like beach, I guess. And again, this is an outfit challenge. Um... I think I would have liked the camera angle a little different so you can actually see her costume a little more. Um, this doesn't really feel piratey to me though. Um, kind of feels like indoor beach resort sort of. And then we'll go to this outdoor one. Um, <laughs> they have the aquarium on the outside but you can see Skull Rock. Um, oh, I think this is like the one of the pirate premium items again from like a week or so ago. Oh, there's even like a little ship bottle there. This is really cute. I love the um, the brightness of the sky. I think maybe if they just cropped it a little bit, um, just like focus in right about here and take away all this negative space in front of them, um, it would give an even better um, photo and it would kind of close in on the subject a little more. But it's still a very nice photo. Again, this is supposed to be an alpha challenge. Um, so, you know, here I am judging the background, but yeah, definitely this outfit screams um, the pirate. All right, so here are two more. Let's open this one on the left. It is a little darker than the other one, but I do like this one. You can kind of see her outfit a little bit. Um, I think it would have been better if she turned towards the camera just a smidge so you can see the entire outfit, but I think this is that like classic red or yellow dr uh, showman dress where it like tears down. It's still really cool. You can kind of see her pirate hat um, through the darkness, but she does have like some glowing um, anemones and the um, torches and the candelabra in the back with the glowing palm trees. Um, this does look very Pirates of the Caribbean-esque, so this is really, really good composition. And again, like I just wish her dress was a little bit brighter. And let's look at the other one who is super bright. And very minimal decoration. Um, the, the only thing that really looks piratey in this, aside from Donald's boat, is her hat. Um, so this could be a new player. Um, no knocking. I mean, they did stick to, hey, like, this is an outfit challenge. I don't really need to decorate. So there's that. But I don't really get pirate vibes from her outfit. So we're definitely going to go with the one on the left. All right. We got five more to go. So we have two different ones. All right. Let's look at this one. This one. I'm going to give it to, like, maybe they're a new player or they're just submitting just to get their moonstones for the week. Um, there is nothing piratey except the little celestial turtle. Um, I don't really know how this even made it through the Dream Snap submission. Because um, I thought it had to have, like, specifically something with pirates in it. Um, I don't exactly remember what the um, requirements were. But you've got Wally's house in the background, which isn't really a pirate, so... Even if we're just basing it on the outfit, the outfit is more 
uh, winter-esque than it is pirate. So we're going to look at this one, which is going to get the automatic vote just because they do have a pirate outfit. But an overall picture is very, very nice. It's super bright. I think they did the camera trick where you up your graphics to 2.0 and it makes your image look much cleaner and crisper. It does lag your computer down a bit. So just um, be on the lookout for that, that you may have to hold out for a bit to let your computer kind of readjust. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to go with this one because this is a very piratey outfit. Even though she is wearing the... Um, and this is one of the frozen things, but it's like Kristoff's scarf with like the reindeer, but this is a very pirate-esque themed photo, so we're definitely going to go with this one. And now here we have two more. We're going to go with the one that's inside. We're going to look at this one first. Again, this is a, I have to keep reminding myself, it is an outfit challenge. So first things first, we have to look at their outfit, which yes, is very pirate-esque. They've got the boots and the pirate coat, which um, I use this coat too this week. Um, I think you can get the coat from uh, Scrooge's shop. The same with this hat and like her smirk, like even her smirk is very piratey, which is really nice. So outfit 10 out of 10, very nice, very piratey. Um, again, kind of like one of the other ones that we had chosen. I wish it was more cropped in here. Um, just to focus in more on her without having all of this negative space, but otherwise it is a very nice outfit. And this one is really dark. I do like the pose that they did, um, but it's hard to see what pirate outfits they have because of how dark it is. I can kind of make out the hat and the jacket and maybe the boots, um, but the shirt is a super bright yellow, which doesn't really scream pirate to me. Um, but they do have the little dinghy. Like, I like that they used the dock, kind of like pirates are coming up on shore. So that was super cute. But in terms of outfit composition, we're definitely going to go with this one over here. And here are two more. This guy has no pants. Why does this guy have no pants? I mean, like, he has shorts on, but, like, he doesn't have pants. Um, this one over here, th this is an outfit challenge again, and this is not a pirate outfit. Again, I'm going to give... Benefit of the doubt that this is a new player, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I kind of have to go with this one because this is the most piratey one, even though, again, this guy like has no pants. Where are his pants? Um, he does have the pirate jacket and the hat and the boots. I love the mustache in his face. Like, his facial expression is just hilarious. Um, yeah, uh, I'm actually not feeling either of those. So let's click out and then we'll go back in and see what new ones we can pull up there we go and we're starting off with two selfies guys if this is an outfit challenge you can't do selfie mode because we can't see your whole outfit make sure you're at least going to the first camera option so we can get a good view of your item uh sorry not your item of your outfit but th so let's look at this one real quick this is a pirate rose eye patch where did this come from where, like, this has to be like a Beauty and the Beast item, but was this in that premium shop bundle the other day? Where did this come from? And this honestly is the only thing that kind of screams pirate, but like, where did this come from? If you know, please let me know in the comments down below. So we're gonna, don't really even need to blow this one up because it is, it is a selfie. Um, and I don't like either of these. Like, yeah, okay, she's got the pirate hat and the green hair, which kind of reminds me of Davy Jones. Like, not gonna lie, like, her outfit and her hair remind me of Davy Jones, but her outfit is not really pirate, and I can't see either. So we're gonna clear out of these and try again. Round three. There we go. So this is what I mean, guys. Like, get to that first camera option so we can actually see your outfits. Let's go with this one with Donald first. So again, very classic. You got the ruffle shirt and the jacket, the hat, the pants, and the boots. Kind of all classic stuff that you can get from Scrooge's shop if you did not get the pirate outfits in the premium shop the other week. I do like that they waited for the parrot to be looking at the camera, and you have Donald here looking all kind of gruff in front of his boat. And this is cool. You can kind of like see in the back peeking out to the glade. And we'll look at this one again. I think this is Eric's boat. I'm not that far along in the storyline yet, so I don't have Eric's boat yet. But then you've got the treasure chest, and I do love that they use, like, this bandito mask that kind of makes it look like they have, like, a dark patch of eyeliner across their whole face. Um, the outfit itself does not 
scream pirate other than the hat. Uh, maybe maybe the pants a little bit, but nothing else really screams pirate. So we're going to have to go with this one over here. All right, now we've got the, the well, we're going to look at this one. This, I, I actually realized, I actually recognize this photo. So this was actually a um, challenge photo for one of the quests. I don't remember which quest it was. Um, but this was definitely a quest photo because I remember I had to take a quest photo with these characters. Um, so I'm going to give this that this is a new character, I'm um, sorry, a new player. Um, but again, not pirate, so we're not voting for that one. And since this is an outfit challenge, we're just going to focus on the outfit. And oh my god, look at the hair! Like, this is a perfect pirate hair. More, think like, um, Captain Norrington from Pirates of the Caribbean style hair and not like Jack Sparrow Dread style hair, but I love this entire setup. This is a super nice outfit. Very simple with the background. Like it is just an outfit challenge. So he made his outfit front and center and definitely like this outfit. All right. Our last submission. We're going to look at again, guys, like where is the pirate? Where is the pirate in this? I do like the trans pride flag shirt. Always got to rep, you know, my um, Alphabet Mafia family. But there's no pirate. So let's look at this one. This one's also in dorsal kind of. Why is it so pixelated? Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, like this kind of looks inside like maybe in like a captain's quarters maybe. You've got Donald. Definitely, I think they were trying to go for, like, Captain Norrington vibe because they do have um, the Beast Level 10 outfit on and the Pirate hat, which does scream very much like Royal uh, Navy of the Guard style pirate, which is super cool. I do like this map. Where is this map from? Where do you get this map? Is this, like, a, a quest um, prize or is it a screw shop item? Because I really like, I really like this map. Um, I definitely think, like, if they, again, just crop it just, like, to here, you'd get a better view of focusing on the outfit with, like, these items as a backdrop. But otherwise, like, this is a very much pirate outfit in comparison to this one. So we're going to vote for that. Okay, we're going to do these for the last one because we've had a couple that weren't really pirates. So let's pull this one up, and this this will be our last submission. So this is cute. You have, I love their hair. Um, okay, outfit first. So really the only outfit -y items, I guess, would be the coat and the hat. Um, you could see like the flannel underneath and the jeans, maybe pushing it for like more of a modern day pirate. Oh my God, I just noticed. Look at Penelope back here. Look at, look at her face. Um, they do have Donald and his house and a dinghy. And then, then in the background, you can see Ariel's castle. I don't know if that was placed on purpose or if that's just kind of where she allows Ariel to live. And then you have the map desk over here. Um, I think this was from Moana, judging by, like, the graphics. I think this is a Moana quest, uh, like a Moana item. Um, so, yeah, outfit, um, kind of piratey. Let's look at this one. Again, kind of piratey on this one. Um... With the hat and the jacket, again, these are, and the boots, these are um, Scrooge items. These are a premium shop item, which is awesome that a lot of us were able to get those items from Scrooge's shop at some point. Um, the stance is super cool. So the glasses and the rest of the items are kind of giving me like a steampunk pirate. Um, kind of like one of the episodes off uh, Disenchantment where Bean goes to steampunk land or Steamland. I think it was called Steamland. Um, and the people were just basically wearing this outfit. Um, this one, this one's a hard one. Um, this one honestly kind of screams more piratey to me than this one does. So I think we're going to vote for this one. Stop with the selfies. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So editing uh, KK here, as you can tell, by the complete outfit change and Vanessa gracing us with her presence in the back. I forgot to open the red chest. So let's go ahead. We're going to pop this open and see what prizes we got this week. Now, just so you know, I don't do the chest resets at all. So what I get is what I get. So we got an old TV and this golden cloche and then another one of these green windows. I love this window like so much. 
<laughs> Hi, Anna. So, guys, this is going to end it for this week's Week in the Valley video. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, there were so many cool submissions for the Swashbuckle and Swagger Challenge. If you guys saw any of your photos in this week's challenge, let me know in the comments down below. Um, everyone did a really great job. Just, again, guys, if we're doing an outfit challenge, don't do selfie mode. We can't see your outfit. And that's the whole point is we got to see how creative you get. I want to thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today while we did this video. Be sure to follow me on all social media accounts. So we have Twitter, Discord, and Twitch all linked down below. If you like these kind of videos or can't wait to see more Dreamlight Valley and Polya and other cozy game content, be sure to hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, and the notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. I'm trying to post at least twice a week, sometimes three. I've got a whole bunch of decorating around the valley I gotta do, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys!